All right. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, the one I am supporting, Gujarat Titans. So I don't see a very good year Made coming up for them. Yeah. Uh, that's what uh, we all thought uh, last year as well. <laughs> um, but uh, Hardik Pandya and Ashish Nera, their combination has been little and magical. Uh, and you can see that uh, Hardik Pandya, after becoming captain, has uh, not only won the uh, trophy uh, in, his, uh, in the debut season, but uh, his uh, captainship... Uh, has actually given him the confidence of performing um, much better uh, as compared to what he used to earlier. And uh, we have been seeing his performance lately in Indian colors and um, they are the terrific performances uh, we have all witnessed. He's the new captain cool, isn't he? Stays so calm Absolutely. on the field. Yes. And uh, probably the one who will take over from Rohit Sharma uh, after the 2023 ODI World Cup. Yes, yes, as long as he bowls. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. Absolutely, his bowling skills, I mean, his all rounding, all rounder skills are going to be very crucial uh, when it comes to retaining this uh, IPL uh, mm. for their franchisee. <clears throat> and uh, I look forward to his performance. And mm. they, they have a surprise. Uh, addition of Kane Williamson this time, who, who was a part of uh, Hyderabad last season. But uh, Kane Williamson making it to the team actually gives them a good uh, balance in the middle order. Uh, Williamson, with his experience, has done wonders with uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, till last season. Uh, but uh, uh, last season, he actually fall of favor with uh, Hyderabad. They had a revamp of all their uh, players, coaches, etc. And now uh, he comes to Gujarat Titans and probably will bring all his experience to ensure that uh, the trophy remains with the franchisee. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if he fits in, but I, I believe they'll need him. At some point, at least. Uh, big big season coming up for uh, Shubman Gill, who's been in excellent form yes. in the international. Another, level. yes, with his form uh, in the last year, he has been uh, prolific, uh, hitting a purple patch in all the three formats uh, red mm. ball, uh, ODIs, or T20. And uh, um, it has more to do with uh, his performance with Gujarat Titans last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a batsman who is getting the confidence from the captain to go out and express himself and uh, that is what Hardik Pandey has done not only for himself but also for Shubman Gill and, um, and we have seen the results for uh, him in the Indian colors. Uh, also, he has been elevated to uh, the post of vice captain for Gujarat Titans as well. So, uh, that shows the confidence uh, of the management as well as uh, uh, the team captain of how uh, what value uh, Shubham, Shubman Gill brings to the team. Hmm. Hmm. And then they have three keepers, Saha, Matthew Wade, and yeah. then they also picked up K.S. Bharat. Who do you think will make the cut? Uh, see, uh, there would be a toss-up between Saha and uh, Matthew Wade. Uh, but Saha uh, performed reasonably well uh, last season, and probably I guess he would be the uh, first, he would be the starter in the first eleven, uh, opening with Shubman Gill. Okay. Um, and uh, as I said, not all the South Africans would be available uh, for the first two games. So David Miller, who has been a very strong uh, and a strong middle order batsman for Gujarat, would be missing for the first two matches. Uh, so I somehow feel it would be Wade along with Kane Williamson uh, uh, would be making it to the 11. Uh, and yeah, uh, Sh uh, Riddhiman Sah still stays as an opener. Okay. But Sah being out of the out of the equation for such a long time now, I don't know how. Yeah, how he has been out of the equation, but uh, 
um saha is such a player that whenever he got a chance we we all feel that he doesn't belong to the white ball cricket mm. t20 cricket but whenever he has played for uh his franchise he has surprised all his fans mm. uh, and uh, has always uh, gone past uh, uh 125 130 strike rate and has given a flying start to uh wherever he has uh played for hmm hmm so as was the case last year even this year when i look at the squad it doesn't whose confidence it doesn't fill me up with confidence that oh this looks like a fantastic squad but and they proved us wrong dark horse <laughs> yes and that that proved uh, they proved us wrong last year and uh, what what do you think where they'll be placed this year in the points table you think they'll make the top 4 uh, they'll certainly be at top 4 um, with csk mm-hmm. and uh, one more thing uh, i would like to add here is uh, we'll be witnessing uh, narendra modi stadium hosting seven matches this time because yeah uh, gujarat titans was introduced just last year and we did not have an opportunity to see uh, uh, gujarat titans playing at their home except the finals in the modi stadium except the finals of course yeah but uh, uh, they'll be playing the full seven matches in ahmedabad uh, as that is their base uh, ground and uh, uh, we'll be witnessing some good matches cool let's hope so and let's hope we get tickets to some of those one two